Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Well, we're, drill, we're drill team six fishing excursions. And I'm Sonia and this is? I'm Dan. Uh, Sonia and I own and operate drill team six. Uh, we're a veteran owned business. Sonia and I are both retired Air Force and we have decided to settle in the Matsu Valley. So we decided to start a fishing business because we're both fishing enthusiasts on a grand scale. Um, so here we are today. We offer year round fishing opportunities in the Matsu Valley. Um, we basically fish for all species with exception to lake trout, uh, just because um, opportunities for them here in the valley are not um, obtainable and, and achievable. Um, but we do offer um, lake fishing in the summer as well as king salmon and silver salmon charters. Uh, throughout the winter, we offer several different levels of ice fishing packages from mild to wild. Um, <laughs> this winter, we've had a set of twins join us from Louisiana at 20 months old that both caught fish. And we have trips that are go all the way as far as uh, the use of snowmobiles, a 10 hour day and 50 miles round trip to go fish for pike. So um, we have something to kind of fit everybody's needs and their desires and level of really what they want to get involved with in the great outdoors in Alaska. So today what we have here is we have um, an ice fishing setup. Let me know when you got the camera flipped. Can we, we're, we're going to work on flipping the camera here. Can you see us? Yep, we sure can. All right. Let's go to um, more and see if there's a way to flip the camera. Do you know if there's a way to flip the camera by any chance? Not in Zoom, I'm not okay. sure. Okay. Well, well, we'll work it out. So I think we've got a pretty walk, take like one step back and then turn. So as you can see here, we have, just hold the camera just like that. We've got our biggest shelter out here today. This is an insulated shelter. Um, this shelter is six sided. It's 12 feet across, seven feet tall in the middle. Uh, it takes about a minute to set up. It's a pop-up shelter, um, but lots of space. We can hold up to five people in here and we have multiple shelters for bigger groups. So um, we could host a group up to 10 people. Um, Sonia and I are the only two registered guides, so we wouldn't want to pair too many people with a single person because we really like to keep our trips personal. Um, so if you want to come on in, we'll show you what the inside looks like. Like that, if you just kind of crouch down in the door. So inside here, um, today we are set up for four people. So we have four very comfortable chairs that really uh, are comfortable to sit in for long periods of time while fishing. Um, we've got fishing electronics at every hole. These are little sonar units and then there's a transducer that goes down in the water. So it'll, it can show the person fishing how deep water they're in, it'll show them their lure in the water column, and it'll also show them fish. However, it won't make them catch them. That is up to the fisher. Um, we've got LED lights with fans in them that are all portable to help push the heat back down. We heat our tents with portable propane heaters. And when the door is closed in here, we can get the inside temperature, say today it's about three degrees outside. Right now, we can get it up to about 60 degrees in here. So. Um, it's very, very comfortable in the tent, so you don't necessarily need to be dressed like we are today. Um, you, can, you can really have um, some lighter weight clothing to be able to come on one of these trips. We understand a lot of people travel here and they don't bring a lot of heavyweight gear for the winter, so um, we take care of them in that aspect. Um, but that's kind of the standard setup in here. We've got some storage overhead to put jackets and such in. And depending upon what trip our customers book will depend on what tent size we have, what kind of fishing rods we use, how deep of water we're fishing in, whether or not we can use bait. Uh, the Matsu Valley regulations for the lake you're fishing is, everything is different. Um, so you need to be really well versed in the regulation. Um, today we are on Finger Lake. Um, there is 21 inches of ice today on the lake. And um, so you can literally just drive out on the lake to where we fish at. Our snow level is low, so uh, access is really easy right now. If the snow loads were to get greater, 
um, we would bring our customers out to the fishing area uh, on our snowmobiles. We have three two-person snowmobiles and um, uh, we can get you out really no matter what the conditions are. Um, so that, so that's perfect. Is, I think we're up, we're up to time here. You guys actually got a couple of extra minutes because you guys are awesome actually doing it out on the lake, setting the bar right, way high for everybody. What we want to do real quick is we want to drill a hole for you guys because that seems to be the, the thing that the people ask the most about is how do you drill a hole through 21 inches of solid clear ice? So we're going to show you. So technology has come a long way in our world and we now have step back maybe two steps. We now have ice augers that are electric. They're very lightweight and they have a battery pack on them. That's made out of, that's got lithium in it and 21 inches of ice, everybody start counting. About 10 seconds to get through the ice. So, um, and as far as a lot of people ask, at the end of the day, do you cover the hole back up? The answer is no, um, because it's best to leave it open. So if people are walking out here, they can see there's a hole there. And on a cold day, by like today, within an hour, there'll be a half inch ice on that hole already. Um, that's pretty much um, just a real general go-to for our ice fishing stuff. Um, look at our scenery. If you can, can't beat that office. If you can bear the cold, yeah, we love our office. <laughs> um, if you can, if you can manage the cold and stuff, we always encourage people to fish outdoors. Um, with ice fishing, you don't have the opportunity to cast over on the other side of the boat mm -hmm. to try a new area because we have to vertical fish. So we always encourage people if you can handle the cold, fish outside for a while, spread out, cover more ground. You're always going to have better odds. Um, Real quick on our summer fishing, um, we have several lakes in the valley we fish on. Um, we have pike trips, we have salmon trips, we have trips for rainbow trout, we fish Arctic char. Um, every once in a while, we take a shot at burbot, um, as well as we fish for, in the winter time, we fish for pike, char, trout. Burbot is easier to catch in the winter time. And um, when we have, small kids, we usually bring them to a stock lake with landlocked salmon or trout, um, just so there's a higher catch rate to keep the kids very involved. And our packages for ice fishing range from two, four and six hour. Um, our, our salmon charters are all six hour trips. Uh, our lake fishing trips run from two, four and six hours. And we offer a first responder and military discount of 10%. So uh, we like to give back to those that give to us, being vets ourselves, um, that's important to, to give back to those that are serving. So um, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we wish you guys a great day. After the meeting here, we have our new puppy with us in the truck, letting us know he wants to come outside. Um, so Sonia and I are gonna let him out and do a little fishing ourselves. Um, but we have a... Um, www.dt, the number six, fishing excursions dot. Dot com. Um, we also have a Facebook page, Drill Team Six Fishing Excursions, as well as Instagram. Um, what's the Instagram tag again? Uh, DT6. DT6 on Instagram. So if you want to follow along with us, um, we usually make a post every day. We have a group of customers um, just to kind of keep people up with what we're doing. We have a live calendar on our website where people can literally find a date that they like that's open and book it online. And then Sonia will get a notification and call them one-on-one -on -one to find out exactly what um, they wanna do with their fishing trip. Everything is tailored to you guys. It's just Sonia and I, so we're very flexible people and uh, we do everything we can in our power to give uh, our customers the best experience. So well, awesome. Um, thank, thank you guys. We appreciate that. Um, thank you for you joining us and uh, good luck to you guys. Yeah, definitely get extra bonus points and extra bonus minutes as we found uh, with the uh, going outside. Thank you, Sonia. It was great to see you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> I was trying well, to get both of us in here. <laughs>
So that sets the bar for everybody else to follow. Uh, so hi, Jureen. <laughs> So let's next go to Sierra Hunsaker. She is with the Government Peak Chalet in Hatcher Pass. Hi guys, thanks for having me on today. I'm Sierra with Government Peak Chalet and we have uh, a couple of new packages that we're putting together as far as event rentals. Uh, we do have a birthday package for $250 that includes a uh, table set up for about 36 people. And there's plenty of room in there. So as a private venue, there's about 2,300 square feet so it's really easy to keep everybody apart. If they want to uh, enforce masks, they're certainly welcome to do that. Um, and that birthday package includes a party assistant with it. So we can help mitigate kids and issues that might happen while they're out there playing in the rec area. It's really a gorgeous place. I've got in the background here, this is the picture of the inlet, but I've got my head in the way. <laughs> I don't know how to quite get that out, but. <laughs> Um, we also have four hour and eight hour packages and with the eight hours I throw in an extra two just to get the setup and clean up options available for people just to make it accessible. So um, that's a 10 hour day for $800 that's where we start out for that. Um, we are also adding a whole bunch of new features out there for uh, rental options, a sound system, some table linens and uh, vinyl coverings for kid parties a hot dog roller, popcorn machine. So this is really a good option for smaller groups of kids and families. And we're just trying to open it up and get more people out there to enjoy it. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me an email or check out governmentpeakchalet.com. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Yep, beautiful place. If you haven't, if you haven't been up there, just to get up there to use some of the ski trails, but like she said, a great wedding venue, uh, great for meetings, we've used it in the past, so. Thank you, Sierra. So now let's go up the Glen Highway to Mark Fleener at Sheep Mountain Lodge slash Sheep Mountain Air slash every other thing he's got his hand in. <laughs> All right, hey, thank you, Casey. And uh, I'll try to, I'll uh, pop up here so you can see some pictures in the background real quick um, and we'll keep it brief. Uh, but uh, for the last five years, we've been open uh, to hosting guests. Um, and you, you're probably aware that we have winter cabin rentals. Hold on a second, there we go. So we've got our winter cabin rentals. We've got uh, 20, uh, 16 kilometers of groomed cross country ski trails. Uh, and then we have uh, 25 miles of groomed snow machine trails that go from Sheep Mountain to Eureka. And uh, new this year, uh, we're excited that uh, to try a couple of new things. So this year or this winter, we've kept the kitchen open. And so now you can get um, you can get dinner and breakfast delivered right to your cabin. Um, and that's been going really well. In addition to that, we've added snow machine tours. Um, we've got daily trips to the Matanuska Glacier. And those are about 90 minutes long. And uh, in addition to that, we go out to the Talkeetna Mountain Range and the Chugach Mountain Range. And then we've also added snow machine tours, or sorry, uh, helicopter tours. Um, and those fly over the Matanuska Glacier as well as the Nelchina Glacier. And then later on in the winter when it warms up, uh, we're looking forward to um, adding uh, ice cave tours and um, heli snowshoeing. And so that's gonna be um, a, real, a real fun addition. Uh, but we've, uh, we, we kind of use the slower uh, summer uh, to springboard into uh, into winter and uh, and to add a couple of different things. So uh, what we're really trying to do, especially with COVID, um, is keep everything in one place uh, so the guest doesn't have to uh, they don't have to travel anywhere, um, they don't have to interact with other uh, um, other places, um, other companies, that kind of stuff. Uh, so really, it's a one stop shop right now. Um, you know, you come in, you can you check in contactless, don't even have to come inside, um, and then it's uh, you know you get your food delivered to your cabin. Um, you know, snow machine tours where you're all separated, um, stuff like that, ski trails, hot tub, whatever you want to do. And that's what I've got. Thanks, Casey. Awesome. Now, I'm not going to lie. Sonia did it from the lake. A little disappointed you didn't do it from a helicopter. Eh, it's, 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 a, it's an audio thing, really, but uh, <laughs> I'll, try to, I'll try to do a little better. It's also, uh, it's, it's also too below this morning, so, um, but the sun's out and it's gorgeous. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So now um, this maybe isn't a winter product, but this is definitely a product that everybody here um, could probably take advantage of and find use for. So we're going to go to Matt Rowley, and he is with the with Matsu Events, and they are the ones who put on the Matsu Outdoorsman Show. 
Hey, everybody. Uh, sorry, I don't have the uh, video going. I know you're disappointed about that. But, um, <laughs> I, my company, Matt Stu Events, runs the Matt Stu Outdoorsman Show. Of course, we, everybody missed out on that last year. This year, we are scheduled for the second weekend in April. It's April 9th, 10th, and 11th, and we have changed the venue. Uh, traditionally, the Outdoorsman Show has been at the Menard Center. This year, we will be at the Alaska State Fairgrounds, uh, Raven Hall and the surrounding areas. Uh, we've got all of Raven Hall, we've got the Hoskins building, we have um, uh, lots and lots of area for outdoor displays. We've got uh, you know, boats and, and um, RVs and ATVs, stuff going outside. Plus there will be plenty of food trucks. Um, we, <laughs> You know, we're, we're looking forward to this year. Uh, the, our understanding is that the Anchorage Sportsman Show will not be happening. So this is kind of the opportunity for everybody that missed out last year and that wants to see what the hot products are this year uh, to meet us all out at the uh, Outdoorsman Show. So just want to extend an invitation to anybody that is interested in participating. Uh, we're online at matsuevents.com. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks, Casey. Yeah, thank you. Matt had the uh, the pleasure of taking over the Matsu Outdoorsman Show for this year. So he kind of got dealt a, a, a bad hand right out of the get-go. So we're happy to see him. Uh, they had a great fall festival last year um, and looking forward to the Matsu Outdoorsman Show this, this spring. So thanks, Matt. We appreciate it. Um, again, um, you guys can put your name in the chat if you'd like to present. I still have a bunch on my list that I'm going to get to, but I just wanted to make sure that um, if you haven't, if you're not on this list, that I can get to you. So um, let's go over to Lars at Connect River Lodge. Hello, everybody. I'm Lars. Uh, I'm with the Connect River Lodge. We're out closest to the Connect Glacier in Palmer. Um, so uh, you know, for, for winter business, we're not really doing much as the lodge. Um, you know, it's still a great place to drive out and come see the northern lights and, and uh, kind of get those nice night skies. Um, but one thing we are doing, we are doing helicopter tours still. Um, we have a, a Raven 2 uh, R44 here in our lawn. Uh, and we're doing plenty of weddings. And, uh, you know, we're doing just the, the traditional flight seeing tours that we do um, all summer long. Um, is now a year-round thing. So um, yeah, people looking for something fun to do in the Valley, something a little different. Uh, you know, we're only 20 minutes from downtown Palmer and the glacier is incredible right now. Um, if you haven't seen our social media pages, if you, if you pop over to those, you'll see some of that blue ice that we're landing at. It's, it's just really beautiful right now in the winter. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all we're doing. You know, we're just making business plans and, uh, trying to hire a staff for the 2021 season and, and, you know, get back to something a little bit normal, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner service again. So we're, we're super excited for 2021 and uh, moving forward and working with all of you. Not to put you on the spot. I know last summer you guys did a, a series of events at the restaurant. Is that something you guys are planning on doing again when you um, do open? You know, we're kind of tossing the idea around. Uh, we are planning to do some live music in the Ravens Perch on the weekends. Um, that was one of our most successful things. Um, and probably a couple of fun, you know, wine or beer dinners where we, we team up with a local brewery and uh, do a five course meal that's all paired with their beers. And, you know, we have them out to kind of explain what they're doing. And, and I'm the chef, so I'm, I'm the guy that's, <laughs> I'm the everything, but uh, I'll be presenting to all your pretty faces too, so. <laughs> Yeah, so we're, we're in the beginning stages of planning those, but hopefully. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So let's go um, next. So I haven't actually met you in person. I guess one of our probably newest member, but she's stuck in the Zoom box. And for 2020, that's typical. That's normal. So let's go to Liz Failer with uh, uh, Alaskan Husky Adventures. Yes. Hi, everybody. Um, <laughs> great to be here with you today. I'm new to the group, so thank you for having me. My husband and I uh, recently launched Alaskan Husky Adventures in November, and we offer dog sled rides, kennel tours, and we also have a venue for special events like weddings, 
birthdays, retirement parties, that sort of thing. Um, my husband, Matthew Thaler, is an Iditarod racer, and he races Iditarod every year, um, including this year, which will be number 10. Um, so we love sharing our team with the guests. Um, we are located here in Willow um, near Hatcher Pass. We're actually right off of Hatcher Pass Highway, and we have 75 acres of private trails where we train. Um, we love to take our guests out on those private trails. We have amazing Denali views on a clear day. Um, and I'll admit, I'm feeling a little underprepared today because I, I wish I could show you all of this stuff <laughs> uh, like uh, Sonia did out on the lake. Uh, that was pretty cool. But um, maybe I can get one of our dogs to join me in the shot at least. <laughs> um, so yes, we have a couple of um, options for our guests. Um, they can choose whether they'd like to ride in a sled with an experienced musher out on the trails. Um, or we also have an option where guests can try mushing their own team. Um, and so in that case, they're, they have a mushing mentor, they learn how to maneuver on the sled, and then um, they hook up their own team of dogs and they have their own sled and we're out there with them for support, but they get to actually step into the shoes of a musher and see what it's like to manage their own team. Um, so uh, what another one of the things that I think uh, is, is really cool about our operation um, and that our guests have told us that they really enjoy is we're family, really family oriented. Um, all of the dogs, aside from being our race team, um, they're also our family. And so um, sometimes we get, get we get questions like, you know, they're working dogs, are we allowed to pet them? But um, they're, they're also our pets. We have 53 dogs and um, they're super friendly. Um, we let, one of the things we love to do after a run, we just let all the dogs loose to run around and play with guests. And so that's kind of a, a fun, I think, kind of unique aspect at our kennel. We live on site with the dogs, so we love and care for them every single day. And we pride ourselves on being able to let any of the dogs run around loose. They don't run away. We raise them all ourselves. Um, so we really enjoy sharing our team with visitors as well. Then you get to start and finish I did a rod in your backyard this year. Yes, we're actually, we're fingers crossed, we're hoping for a little bit of a hometown advantage. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps the dogs, as they get close, if it's neck and neck and they know they're going home, it'll give us a little bit of an extra boost there at the end. Um, yeah, but our team name cool. actually is, uh, it's 17th Dog, and that's a, a tribute to um, all of the supporters and the fans who helped to make it possible to race a, um, I did a Rod. So kind of like the 12th man in football, you used to be able to race 16 dogs and I did a ride. So all of the supporters who help make that possible um, are the 17th dogs. So our guests who visit the kennel, just by visiting and supporting the team in that sense, um, they become part of the team. They become the 17th dog. That's awesome. Yeah, the irony is that in almost half of all Zoom meetings I've been in, there's a dog barking in the background, but we have a musher with no dogs barking. So I know. Hey, Bobo, <laughs> look at, come here, you guys. I know they were, they're always here when I, when I, uh, when I'm trying to do something and then uh, when I want them to be here. Come on, you guys, come say hi. <laughs> there are a um, couple of, there we go. this is cool cat and uh, vocal. Can you say hi? This is uh, vocal here. <laughs> so a couple of our retirees now turn couch potato dogs. <laughs> Um, we, we always have, you know, dogs that are just like free roaming, some of our retirees, former racers. So yeah, yeah fun fact about Cool Cat here. She, uh, Cool Cat, my husband and I, we got married uh, this summer at the kennel and uh, Cool Cat was uh, my dog of honor. He had, oh, uh, awesome. Sean White was his uh, best dog in the wedding. <laughs> Sean White's, uh, he's over on the couch right now. Awesome. Well, thank you. And good luck. And I did a ride. Um, but yeah, we're, we're happy to have you. Thanks. Thanks for joining nice us. Nice to meet everybody. Yeah. So next, let's go to somebody who's wearing about three different hats with the Matsu Ski Club, Midnight Sun Yoga, and the Palmer Chamber. How about you, Ailish? <laughs> yeah, thanks for the, the intro, Casey. Um, I do have a lot of hats to wear, as everybody does. Um, I am Ailish Van. My, na or my name is Ailish Van. I'm the executive director for the Greater Palmer of Chamber of Commerce. I also own Midnight Sun Yoga Center here in Palmer, and I'm the vice president of the Matsu Ski Club. So um, I love winter. This is so exciting to hear all of these things going on. I feel very upstaged by the ice fishing thing, the cute dogs in the background, and Mark's sweet photos of all the things Sheep Mountain area. So um, it's just me in my office here today. But uh, 
So mostly I wanted to talk about yoga and the ski club. Um, and so skiing is awesome right now. It's been on my list to go ski at Sheep Mountain for winters now, but I'm making it a priority to go to Sheep Mountain. But um, the ski club, Matsu Ski Club is here in Palmer. Um, we have one part-time employee, but we we groom trails all over the place from GPRA to Independence Mine to Archangel Road. Um, and then the moose range too. And so actually tonight, if anyone wants to come and enjoy a ski with us where we do monthly evening ski tours uh, around the full moon. So the weather is actually cooperating tonight for it to be probably pretty stunning of a ski. So we're, we're meeting at Archangel Road uh, up in Hatcher Pass. So if you're heading up to Hatcher Pass, it's off, off to the left there. And then the road is on the right. And so if we were asking people to have skis on at 630 and we'll just tour out um, on Archangel Road and it's free. It's just a fun event that we do every month. Uh, I will be there. And so we hope to see anyone that wants to join us. Uh, it's classic skiing. It's the best thing to do in cold weather. Um, and uh, so yeah, feel free to join us tonight. And then we also have a really awesome Junior Nordic Ski Program, which we've got almost 400 kids in um, this winter, uh, enjoying skiing and learning how to ski and learning how to love the outdoors. So it's so fun. Uh, I've been skiing since I was about four. So it's so fun to have my now five-year-old daughter in the program and along with a lot of other little kiddos. So um so yeah, if you're not a cross-country skier, I strongly encourage it. Good luck finding gear. <laughs> we get inquiries all the time about trying to find gear for people. Uh, as with summer activities, uh, finding skis, boots, and poles has been challenging uh, for folks this year with shortages and just everybody wanting to try something new and get out and enjoy. So um, we have a great website that has all, all of the trails and stuff where we groom, stuff about Junior Nordics, joining, um, becoming a member. Um, and it is matsuski.org. So feel free to check that out too. And we look forward to any partnerships with anyone. Um, I would love to talk to Mark about doing a ski tour out at Sheep Mountain one of these weeks um, this winter. Um, so I'm gonna switch gears and talk about my indoor love, which is yoga. <laughs> so um, yoga and gyms, which I so will be talking about other things as well. But um, you know, uh, COVID has really taken a toll on indoor uh, activities, exercise activities, and yoga is not excluded from that. Um, it's been a, a rough year for us. This is normally our really busy time, and it's just been uh, it's been really hard to to have the studio not shut down, but not having the same feeling as it normally does of a bustling full of warm bodies. So. Um, Anyway, so I Midnight Sun is right downtown in Palmer in the same building as Papa Murphy's in GCI. And we do have classes six days a week, uh, ranging for all levels. So I people often call and say, I'm a beginner, can I go to this class? And I just tell you like, all of our classes are suitable for beginners. Just let the instructor know that you're a beginner and he or she will provide um, a little bit more instruction if you need it. Uh, but we're there to make everyone have an enjoyable experience. The studio is always about 74 degrees, so it's nice and toasty warm in there, especially on days like today. It's nice to have a warm place to go. Um, and we're not requiring masks during practice, but if you want to wear a mask into the studio, and then most people are just taking it off when they get to their space, their mat, uh, but we are limiting capacity to 10 uh, to allow enough room for people to have at least six feet, if not more between them. So um, we all need yoga or some sort of like stress relief in our life right now. Uh, breathing, stretching, mindfulness, all of those things are so important to mental health. And so um, whether you do it on YouTube or with us or anything, just encourage you to get out and move, whether it's on skis, on foot, on snowshoes, on a dog sled, whatever, <laughs> however you do it, um, just get outside and enjoy the fresh air. Um, but if fresh air is absolutely not your thing, then yoga is here. Uh, maybe one day we'll jump on the winter recreation train fully and do some like snoga or something, you know, but um, on days like today, that's not really something I'm into. <laughs> but um, anyway, thanks for your time. And if anyone has any questions, let me know. And you can see, our, sorry, you should see, our, you can see our schedule at midnightsunyoga.com. And um, like I said, classes six days a week, multiple times during the day. And um, our schedule's pretty light right now with COVID. We're, we're um, just not able to fill all the classes that we want to. So we've kind of got it pared down, but we do have a great offering with about seven or eight different local instructors that just love what they do and um we'd love to have you and if any of you would love for us to come and do yoga at your location we'd also totally be into a partnership like that so yeah anyway thanks for the time yep awesome it seems like a quintessential alaskan only thing to say hey we're going to do a midnight sun or i'm sorry uh, 
uh, moonlight ski, let's meet up in the early afternoon. <laughs> right. right? Four thirty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, let's stay in Palmer and uh, let's go over to Sam uh, Dingus with the Palmer uh, Museum and the Visitor Center. Hey, Casey. Thanks. Uh, I'm Sam uh, with the Palmer Visitor Center. I'm here with Matt, who's our visitor outreach coordinator. Um, and it's really great for us to be able to hear all the fun things that are going on uh, around town. Um, for the winter season, uh, we kind of try and act as a bit of a link between visitors coming to town looking for things to do uh, in and around Palmer. So getting to hear all these wonderful uh, programs and activities that you're offering, that's uh, really great. Um, and I just wanted to throw out there that uh, this summer, um, we'll be doing a couple of things to try and promote you guys and your business. Um, we've got our visitpalmer.com uh, website that we launched this year. Um, so that's, uh, you know, again, kind of Palmer area specific stuff. Um, you can check it out. Uh, we've got uh, travel articles up there. We've got directories. We've got trail maps. Um, we've got directions and information for people coming. Um, we also uh, are going to be doing our Palmer Visitor Guide again. Um, and uh, in April, we're going to be doing staff training uh, for our frontline workers. If you're interested um, in talking to our staff so that they know what you do, they know what you offer, um, please, uh, please reach out to us. We'd really like to talk to you. The more we know about what you do, the more we can send people uh, your way so that they can uh, they can experience it too. Um, and on the museum side, uh, we are closed right now, um, but we've moved most of our uh, exhibits and a lot of our art collection onto our website. So if you go to palmermuseum.org, uh, you can check out a lot of the stuff that we're doing at the museum here. Thanks for the moment. Awesome. Thank you, Sam. So I guess we'll, we'll segue from Alish's being active to going to Active Souls. Uh, Teresa uh, Pippick is with Active Souls in downtown Palmer. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm just going to apologize. I'm terrible at speaking, so I'll fumble about a million times. Mm -hmm. But mostly, we just wanted to share what we're um, what we've always been doing. So, if you're familiar with us, you probably already know. But we have the Happy Run every single Monday um, from six to seven. Obviously, with COVID, we've switched some things up a little bit. So we are um, allowing people to start kind of whenever they want. They can come get a ticket. There's awesome giveaways. We're doing a lot for the community in that regard. So if you know of anybody who's in town and just wants to get a good community Palmer feel, send them our way on Mondays. Um, so that's something great. Of course, we go throughout the winter in the fog, all the crazy weather. So we're always there. Um, and hopefully we'll get back to ending at the Ale House, but right now we're just ending at the store, which has actually been really cool just to connect with different people on a more intimate level. So that's been nice. Um, obviously we have a million other things going on, but that's one of our big ones that's consistent. The other thing we have is just a couch to 5K. So anybody who hasn't been moving a lot, which I know people have been talking about um, being couch potatoes lately, that is a great place to start. Um, both Anne and myself are spearheading that and would love to see anybody. So that'll be six weeks long. And then hopefully we're gonna do um, just a really small race in March, just keeping it really simple. So that's a um, big thing we have, two bigger things we have going on. And then the last thing is anybody has pain or, um, Anything like that, the Body and Balance Clinic is doing free consults for 15 minutes. So just uh, pain, gait questions, anything like that. So have a lot going on. We love new people. We love uh, if anybody has questions about trails. Obviously, there's so many other great resources. But if um, people are in town and just want to ask questions about um, different areas or hikes or just getting active in the valley, we love to chat. So, and you can go to our website, activesouls.com. Awesome, thank you. Great selection of keys too. That's where I always get my shoes. So, so you, public speaking is easy when all you do is yell at your computer screen. I've learned that 2020 has <laughs> made things so much easier. <laughs> Not intimidating when I'm talking to a little dot on my screen here. <laughs> so. Uh, but let's go all the way up to Talkeetna and uh, how about visiting with Cole from K2 Aviation. Hey everyone, good afternoon. Um, I'm Cole with K2 Aviation uh, in Talkeetna. 
We um, are flying this winter. I, if you have not gone and uh, flown around Denali in the winter time, it is incredible. Uh, the, the amount of snow up there and we catch some avalanches from time to time, it's absolutely stunning. And so uh, if anyone wants to go up, we do have um, a industry special. Um, just call up and let us know you're in the industry or you can use code SAVE50 and save $50 on any of your flight seeing. We're right now focusing on flight tours only, but we have three different tours that we offer. They range in time um, with anywhere from an hour up to two hours. Uh, and then in March, uh, depending on weather, sometimes early March, sometimes late March, we'll start offering our glacier landings. And so fingers crossed for uh, good weather and great snow conditions um, so that you can start doing that. Um, we also have our sister company down in Anchorage. So if you're making your way down this way, Russ Flying Service, uh, we are offering two different tours. We do a Denali trip from Anchorage. So uh, since we're all, you're all uh, Valley related, um, we encourage you to go up to K2, or we have an hour and a half tour of the Kanik um, Glacier area. And so, yeah, we would love for you to come out and fly. If you haven't, um, go ahead and email me at cole at flyrustk2.com. I'll get you on the schedule. Uh, if you sell our tours, we can work on some sort of a fam trip um, to get you introduced. And if not, we'll get you a really great discount to get you and your family out there. Thanks, Casey. Awesome. Thank you. So I have down Terry, but I don't see Terry, but I do see Verna. Um, Verna, did you want to talk a little bit about what's going on over at Matsu Resort? Whoops, hold on. We're going to unmute you. You got to unmute you first. We're still still muted. I have to admit, though, I'm pretty happy that we got this far without the uh, you're muted coming up. Normally, that's one or two people in. So let me see if I can. Oh, there you okay. go. There you go. OK. All righty. Well, thanks for having me. I um, At the Matsu Resort, we're still uh, busy serving dinner and having fun. We have uh, every Thursday, we have free salsa lessons and dance. Starts at seven o'clock, and we always have a Latin special on the menu, so you can really enjoy something amazing. It really, it's very authentic food. It's absolutely delicious. I'm from Puerto Rico, and I feel like I'm back there every time I take a spoonful. So it's really good stuff. Um, then on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights, we have our live music. So we have anywhere from J.D. Cox, Tim Hall, um, Tyson Cole the uh, Roots and Branches, uh, Larry Zarillo, those are the musicians we normally have frequenting our place on the weekends. And we also have the AMMC, uh, I guess the machining tournaments that they have out here on the lake. So they are uh, out on, on our lake and you can come out and watch them on, the, on our deck and um, have lunch in the bistro. This uh, Saturday and Sunday, this Saturday and Sunday, they'll have competitions out on the lake with the snow machines and the Jeeps and cars and I don't know, whatever else they ride out there. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Um, we also have a full va Valentine's Day week. We actually start with a tasting on Wednesday night. Um, we also have Thursday will be Latin romance where we'll have Spanish wines, other Spanish uh, menu items and Spanish dance exhibition. And we might pull a couple people out of the, the audience to join. Um, and then Friday night, we're actually um, doing Galentine's night. So all you gals that want to come around and celebrate Valentine's night, that'd be the night to come out. We'll have, um, we'll have music so you can dance and have fun with all the uh, different specials we'll have along with our normal menu. And then on Saturday and Sunday night, we'll have the prefix menu for couples and Gals that want to get together too. It's $129 each. And it will be a prefix menu with uh, choices for your entree. It'll be a four course meal and champagne toast and a beautiful dessert. And then we also have on Sunday morning, a, a brunch buffet, which will be $49 each. And it'll be amazing. We'll have seafood. We'll have all you can eat, uh, uh, all you, can eat uh, you know, omelet station. We'll have, um, all the accoutrements that you normally get on a on a bright sunny Sunday morning. So that'll happen. It'll start at 10 in the morning. So we're pretty busy. We're getting ready for Valentine's and we're excited to see people come out. Awesome. Thank you. 
Um, so those are the folks that I had on my list that had already signed up ahead of time. If you haven't and you'd still like to talk, we definitely still have some time. Just go ahead and put that in the chat. Um, so one thing that I will touch on it. So I'm also involved with the Talkeetna Chamber of Commerce and um, a massive event up there every year in March is the USIC. And so um, I'll just give a little update on that because that's changed. It just happened here the other day. Um, so the USIC is going virtual this year because everything has gone virtual, except it has to, you actually do get to ski. Um, so the Denali Nordic Ski Club has said that from February 15th to March 30th, so that's a six week time, time frame, um, you sign up on their website um, and then you can come into Talkeetna and complete your 25K uh, race at any time on the trail. So it's not broken up over several weekends. You can't ski 5K here, 5K there. Um, it's still a 25K race, but um, but basically for the social distancing, but it and kind of keeping people separate. And now it's going to be spread out over six weeks. The good thing is that gives you six weeks to visit Talkeetna and stay in the many bed and breakfasts, um, inns, hotels, go downtown, take a dog mushing tour, go flying. Um, good way to, uh, to make a weekend out of being up in Tuckeaton is participating in the USIC, even though it's not the, uh, the regular USIC as we've, we've come to, come to uh, love. And actually the USIC was probably the first thing that was canceled with the pandemic. It was literally that weekend. Um, so but yeah, make your way up to Tuckeaton there, February 15th to March 30th. So I don't see any more brave souls popping into the chat here. Um, if you do want to talk and I missed you in the chat, maybe just unmute yourself and yell at me and we'll, uh, we'll get to you. Um, but yeah, thank you guys all for, for joining us. I was a little concerned we'd be running long, but it looks like we'll be finishing right on time. So that's perfect. But, um, but as we all know, we're, we're big fans of winter, um, but I thought this was good just to kind of get everybody together different corners of the valley, everybody doing different activities and let everybody know what is out there so you can refer um, your guests to other other Matsu CVB members. So, um, but well, we appreciate you guys for joining us. Thank you for uh, enlightening us all on winter product and hope you guys have a, a good afternoon and um, we will see you uh, at our next webinar. So thank you guys all for participating. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.